Hi, my name is Brad Constantine, and this is a podcast of the New Testament. I'll be using as the text the King James Version, along with the Joseph Smith Translation. Although this is not an official recording of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, every effort's been made to be as doctrinally accurate as possible. I'll also be using quotes from general authorities of the Church, the Apostles and Prophets, and BYU professors and others, and uh, every word out of the Scriptures themselves. So if you're ready for a really detailed analysis of the New Testament, you've come to the right place. Welcome. Hi there, welcome back. This will be for 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. Um, the heading reads, Saints shall know the season of the second coming of Christ. Live as becometh saints, rejoice evermore, despise not prophesyings. So we will know the, se- the season of the second coming. Again, my I have a, a, a video that's out there on YouTube. It's about the second coming, if you want to look that up. That'll also talk about the season of the second coming. Verse 1, But of the times of the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. In other words, you know that. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. To those who are not watching, to the members of the church, he will not come as a thief in the night. Verse 3, For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that that, that day should overtake you as a thief. Elder McConkie says, he shall, not, he shall come as a thief in the night unexpectedly and without warning to the world, to those who are in spiritual darkness, to those who are not enlightened by the power of the Spirit. But his coming shall not overtake the saints as a thief, for they know and understand the signs of the times. Verse 5, ye are the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But as but let us, who are of the day, be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, for an, for an helmet, the hope of salvation. For God hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together. And edify one another, even as also ye do, and we beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor among you, and are over you in the Lord, and admonish you, and to esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake, and be at peace among yourselves. Members of the church are to highly esteem the ecclesiastical leaders who preside over them. Criticism, fault-finding, backbiting, and gossip should be done away with, and an attitude of helpfulness, honest praise, kindness, and forbearance should prevail. This same respect and honor is to be given to all who labor to build up the kingdom. How is such honor for those who bear the priesthood to be obtained? For the men in the church, the following advice is of great value. If you will honor the holy priesthood in yourself first, you will honor it in those who preside over you and in those who administer in the various callings throughout the church. That was by Joseph F. Smith. Verse 14. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, be patient toward all men. See that none render evil for evil unto any man, for ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men. Rejoice evermore, pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Quench not the spirit, despise not prophesyings, prove all things, hold fast that which is good, abstain from all appearance of evil, and the very God of peace sanctify you wholly, and I pray God your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Faithful is he that calleth you who also will do it. Brethren, pray for us. Greet all the brethren with a holy salutation. I charge you by the Lord that this epistle be read unto all the holy brethren. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. So that's the end of the chapter, and that's the end of the first book of Thessalonians. So we'll see you next time. Bye.